Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. This is a class apart. Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2022, season three of this fascinating celebrative initiative created by the Padma Shadri Bal Bhavan group of schools. Created by them, literally the length and breadth of this nation with schools coming in in large numbers have taken part not to just have their children be part of a wonderful quiz such as this, but in their own way to pay a tribute to a great educator. We are indeed delighted that over the last two seasons and the quarterfinals that you have witnessed, the level of this quiz has been rising and rising consistently. The stage is set for the top 16 from across this nation to battle with each other for a place in the big final. Well, Rashmi will take you through these semi-finals and identify those four worthy national finalists. Enjoy watching it as much as I will be keen to know who the finalists are going to be. But for now, please welcome Ms. Rashmi Furtado. <laughs> gentlemen and my dear children a warm welcome to each and every one of you to the third semi-final of a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz brought to you by the PSBB group of institutions in collaboration with TCS ION and Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe. This quiz was created as a tribute to commemorate the memory of none other than Mrs. YGP a great educator from our country. Most of us, or rather all of us educators, know who she is, so you don't need me to tell anything more about her. This quiz has been doing wonderfully for the past three years. This is the third season of this quiz. And believe me, these students who are here with us today have gone through multiple hoops to reach this semi-final. They are among the top 16 of the country, so let us get to know who they are. The first contestant here today is Tanay Singh from Venkateshwar International School, New Delhi. That's Tanay for you. Up next is Rushil from PSBB, Chennai. Following Roshid in this lineup is Srinath from DPS Vasant Kunj, New Delhi. And completing this lineup for us here today is Rishid from DBMS Jamshedpur. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are our semi finalists for today. Let me get into the rules of the game. I have four rounds for them here today. All the questions and all the rounds are on the buzzers. Single attempt per question only, plus 50 if they get it right, and minus 50 if they get it wrong. So they have an equal negative if they get an answer wrong. The most important thing in this semi-final for us to remember is that only the winner from the semi-final will make it through to the national finale or the grand finale that is coming up. I have already identified the first two winners who have made it through to the grand finale and now we will identify the third one. The first round of this quiz, I will not wait any longer to get into this, she is historic. Here we go. All right, contestants, remember this is an India quiz. Do not forget the context when I ask you the questions. That is very important. India quiz, anything relating to India, that is the context you need to remember, all right? You will have visuals that will appear on your screen. I will have corresponding questions that go with the visuals. You take a call, you decide when you need to press the buzzer and you give me the answer. You know, rest of the rules and regulations of this quiz, so I will not get into all those details. 
let's get started with this semi final of a class apart mrs ygb memorial quiz the first question of this semi final coming up on your screen now identify the winter capital served by the historic kangra gaggal airport it's better known as the kangra airport you can see beautiful mountains there in the background oh 5 seconds of time is up all right the answer is looking for tane you are too late i cannot give you any points but you can definitely try go ahead uh, so is it himachal pradesh all right the i i wanted the specific name of the winter capital you would have uh, received a negative on that one dharamshala the answer i was looking for dharamshala okay specifically in a way good you did not go for the uh, question here all right kids you need to remember 5 seconds of time is what you have do not forget those rules i cannot wait for a long time for you to press the buzzer let's move on to question number 2 coming up now identify this 400 year old roman catholic basilica i'll give another clue think goa All right, Rishit, go ahead. Saint Cathedral. You need to give me a better answer, Rishit. I need a very specific name. Basilica of Bom Jesus. Plus fifty to you. Absolutely right. Basilica of Bom Jesus. The answer I was looking for. He gets the first plus fifty in the semi-final. Let's move on to the next one. Question number three on your screens now. Which famous fort from our country is this? Think. Oh, no clues. Rush. Rushel is on the buzzer. Go ahead, Rushel. Is it the Golconda Fort? Plus fifty to you. Plus fifty. Beautiful answer. I was just going to give them another clue, saying think Hyderabad, but he did not require that. Rushel getting a plus fifty for Golconda. All right. Let's move on. Question number four. On your screen now. Identify the scholar. Oh, Rishit, go ahead. Madan Mohan Malviya. How? What is his contribution, uh, Rishit? Do you know? Uh, I think he was a great reformer during the Indian Renaissance period. All right. Plus fifty to you. You are absolutely right. Madan Mohan Mal Malviya. The answer I was looking for. one of his contributions towards education is that he was one of the co-founders of the banaras hindu university all right rishit getting his plus 50 he is doing well i will tell you where they stand once i complete this round the last question of this round ladies and gentlemen on the screen here we go identify the eminent jurist and scholar tane go ahead Yes, ma'am. I think it's uh, ma'am. It's uh, ma'am. Court setter. Taking a negative on that one, he gets a negative minus fifty to Thanay. The entire question, ladies and gentlemen, identify the eminent jurist and scholar who was the vice president of India. His name is Muhammad Hidayatullah. He was also the acting president right before V. V. Giri got elected and took over, and was the president after he was the acting president. Getting a minus fifty on that is Tanai. Let me tell you where all of them stand, and then we will move on to the second round of this quiz. All right, scores, ladies and gentlemen. Rishit got two answers right, and he's leading with a hundred points right now. Shrinath is yet to score. Rushil is on fifty points. close behind rishit there and tanay is on minus 50 he has to put in a little bit of an extra work to get into the positives but we are still in the second round of this quiz he has a lot of opportunities to move into the positives let's move on with the semi final ladies and gentlemen the second round she is beautiful here we go right so in this round i have two clues for you on your screen i have an example to show you all right so the first clue is the image itself and the second clue is the number of circles that you see on your screen 
the number of circles indicate the number of letters in the answer. Please make a note of the number of circles that you see. Do not get carried away only by the image that you see, okay? For example, the answer for this one would be Mysore, okay? It fits perfectly into the circles there. So you need to check the number of circles and not only look at the visual, all right? Scoring pattern remains absolutely the same, no change in that one. Let's move on with the first question of this round coming up on your screens. Here we go. Identify this form of dance which originates from the state of Gujarat. Tanay, go ahead. Na is it Garba. Plus 50. Absolutely right. Tanay getting a plus 50 on that. He quickly negates that minus 50 that he had earlier. He is on nil now. It's easier for him to move into the positives. Garba giving him that much needed plus 50. Moving on. Question 2. Here we go. What do you see when you cross this beautiful gate? Srinath, go ahead. A Taj Mahal. Getting a plus 50 on that is Srinath. Taj Mahal, the answer I was looking for. Taj Mahal gives him that plus 50, ladies and gentlemen. My question was, what do you see when you cross this beautiful gate called darwaza e Rauza? This gate is called darwaza e Rauza and when you cross this, you get into the beautiful gardens and then you see the Taj Mahal, giving Srinath his plus 50. Let's move on. Question number three. Here we go. Identify this gorgeous old world monkey endemic to the western ghats. Tanay, go ahead. Quickly, Tanay, on the buzzer. I'm a lion tail macaque. I will repeat the answer, Tanay. So, I'm a lion tail macaque. Absolutely right. Getting a plus 50 on that, ladies and gentlemen. The question, identify this gorgeous old world monkey endemic to the western guards of southern India. It is the lion-tailed dash. So he actually gave me the whole or the entire answer. Makak is the only answer I was looking for. He anyway gets his plus 50. Plus 50 to Tanai on that one. Let's move on to question number four. Here we go. Identify this great movie from its poster. Rushil, go ahead. Mother India. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. I don't need to talk a lot about this movie. All of us are aware of this. Mother India giving Rushil his plus 50. The last question of this round, ladies and gentlemen, on the screen. Here we go. Identify the fictional town using the image on the screen. Rochelle, go ahead. Malgudi. Malgudi is absolutely right. RK Nara and there on the screen. The number of letters indicating Malgudi, giving Rochelle his plus 50. Ladies and gentlemen, the tables have turned slightly. So let me tell you where all of them stand at the end of the second round of the semi final. All right. With 150 points, Rushil is leading this quiz. Close behind him is Rishit from Jamshedpur with 100 points. Rishit has been relatively quiet in this entire round. But he's a good quizzer. For all you know, he'll bounce back in the next two rounds. Tane and Srinath are both on plus 50 each. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ask me at this point in time to place my bets, I will not take the risks. Believe me, currently the scores are in a manner where anything can happen towards the end of the quiz. And I have two more rounds to go. So let's just see what happens. Let's move on to the third round of the semi-final. A class apart, Mrs. YGB Memorial Quiz. She is inspiring. Here we go. Alright, so this round is going to be similar to the first round that we had. You will have images coming up on your screen and along with those images, I have corresponding questions, okay? Rest of the rules are all the same. No changes in the rules at all, okay? Good luck to all four of you. You know where all of you stand. All right, the first question coming up. Here we go. Identify this wrestler who won a bronze medal. Rishit, go ahead. Bajrang Punia. Plus 
50 to you. Absolutely right. Bajrang Punya from Haryana. He, he's the one who's won multiple awards or multiple medals in different uh, international sporting events. Uh, most recently being the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham in 2022, this year. Congra uh, plus 50 to Rishit on that one. Let's move on to question number two coming up on your screen now. Identify this Rishit. Go ahead. Banu Ataya, she was the first uh, first Indian to win an Oscar uh, for a costume design of the film Gandhi. So I did not need to tell anything over there. Rishit has given you the entire history plus 50. Plus 50 to him. Proud moment for all of us Indians. The first person from India to win an Oscar for costume designing. Plus 50 to Rishit. Let's move on. Question number three on your screen. Here we go. Identify this great Indian. Rishit again. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rishit. You're on the buzzer. Oh, all right. His time is up. He's taking a negative on this one. I think he, I think it was a bad buzz that he did here. The answer I was looking for is Raja Ramanna. Raja Ramanna, he's an Indian physicist and he's known for his contribution towards the nuclear program in the early stages. He worked with Homi Baba. So his name, Raja Ramanna. Unfortunately, not giving Rishit his plus 50. I think he was a little too quick on the buzzer over there. Let's move on. Question number four on your screens now. Identify the Indian-born biologist, Tanai. Go ahead. Um, ma'am, so, ma'am, uh, is he... Tanai, you're taking too long. You're on the buzzer. Ma'am, I think he's CS. Minus 50. Minus 50. Taking too long, Tane. I have told all of you multiple times, the moment you press the buzz and I call out your name, you have to give me the answer immediately. You cannot hover around after you press the buzzer. Minus 50 to Tanay. On that, the question, ladies and gentlemen, identify the Indian-born biologist who shared the 2009 Nobel Prize in Chemistry with Thomas Stites and Ada Yonath. The answer I was looking for, Venkatraman Ramakrishnan. He is actually known for the work he did towards in the field of ribosomes and he's also received Padma Vibhushan from our own country. He's Indian born, so his origin is uh, Indian, but he, of course, uh, I think he's, he's an Indian American if I'm not wrong. Tanai takes a negative on that one. Guys, you all have to be very careful. This is a semi-final. I'm going to be extremely strict with the rules that we have. I cannot be lenient. Once you press the buzzer, you have to immediately unmute yourself and give me the answer. You cannot take too long after that, okay? Let's move on. The last question of this round on your screen now. Identify. Rochelle, go ahead. It's, it's the Hindu. Taking a negative on that one is Rushil. Minus 50 on that one to Rushil. I'm very sure he knew the answer, but he sort of mixed it up in his mind. The answer is the Times of India. He said the Hindu Times of India, the answer I was looking for. My question was, identify the old lady of Bori Bandar. That itself would have been a very huge clue. Well, unfortunately, Rochelle takes a minus 50 there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, scores at the end of three rounds. I have only one more round remaining. So let me tell you where all of them stand. Rushit was playing very well until he took the last negative. He's now on 100 points. Srinath is on plus 50. He hasn't scored after the 50 that he got earlier in this quiz. Rishit is on 150 points. If I'm not wrong, Rishit was on 200 and he took a negative there in between is why he's back to 150. Tanay lost the 50 that he had, so he's back on nil. Even at this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, I will not place my bets. Anything can happen. Let us move into the last round of this quiz and find out who the winner will be. 
The last round, she is a class apart. Here we go. Alright, so this round is going to be a little different. Nothing will appear on your screen. You have to listen to what I have to say very carefully. Okay? I'm the only one who will give you clues. So you have to be careful on where you decide to press the buzzer. Remember, the moment you press the buzzer, I stop asking the question. Okay? Good luck to all of you. I have five more questions in this round, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the fifth question, we would have identified the winner and the person who takes up the third spot in that grand finale that is coming up. Question number one of this round, here we go. Whose birthday on 29th August is celebrated as National Sports Day? Rishit, go ahead. Major Bhyan Chand, uh, in his honor, the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna was renamed as Major Bhyan Chand Khel Ratna. Uh, he was a, a part, he was, I think, the captain of the of three years uh, in which India won the gold medal in uh, Olympics, 1926, 36 and uh, 42 uh, uh, in hockey. Anybody else wanting to know about Major Dhyan Chand, please contact Rishit. He will definitely have more information on him. He was absolutely right. Major Dhyan Chand is all I needed, but he knows a lot more about him. Plus 50 to Rishit on that one. Of our, a well-known name from our country in the field of hockey. All right, let's move on. Question number two. Which Indian company has the motto, Yoga Kshemam Vaham Myaham? Let me repeat that. Yoga Kshemam Vaham Myaham. A well-known entity from our country. Srinath, go ahead. LIC. Plus 50 on that. He's absolutely right. Life Insurance Corporation of India or LIC as we better know the entity. Plus 50 to Srinath. Let's move on. Question number 3. The Hirakud Dam is built across which river? Alright, Rishit, go ahead. Mahanadi. Plus 50 on that. Absolutely right. From Odisha, Mahanadi is what I was looking for. Hirakud Dam is in Odisha. Plus 50 to Rishit on that one. The penultimate question, ladies and gentlemen. Which ancient physician is known as the father of plastic surgery? Rishit, go ahead. Quick there. Sushruta, uh, he wrote a book on plastic surgery known as Sushruta Samhita. It is the oldest known work on plastic surgery. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. Rishit, if I ever want to write or, uh, you know, have any co-authors for a book on India, I'm going to get in touch with you. You seem to have revised a lot about India. I will definitely get in touch with you. All right. Plus 50 to Rishit on that. He's absolutely right. The last question, ladies and gentlemen, of this semi-final. Here we go. Which is the only currency note bearing the signature of the finance secretary and not the governor? Rishit, again, go ahead. The currency note which was issued during the period of Manmohan Singh as he was the Prime Minister as well as, as, well as the RBI governor as well as the finance minister. Well, I wish you had listened to my question clearly, Rishit. All right, the question, which is the only currency note bearing the signature of the finance secretary and not the governor of RBI? The answer I was looking for is one rupee note. The one rupee note in our country bears the signature of the finance secretary and not the governor or of RBI. Ladies and gentlemen, Rishit, of course, gets a minus 50 on the last question, but I don't think that makes any difference to him. Let's take a look at the score. If my math is right, Rishit from DBMS Jamshedpur wins the semi-final with 250 points. He has put up a great lead here today. Like I said, he was quiet in the second round, but after that, he really picked up the pace and he has so many points added to his kitty, taking him to a whopping 250. Congratulations to you, Rishit. We, of course, have Srinath and Rushil both on 100 points each. Tane could not make it back after the negatives that he took, so he's on nil. 
But for today, we have Rishit from DBMS Jamshedpur making it to the grand finale of a class apart Mrs. YGP quiz. Congratulations to you, Rishit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for this semi-final. Like I said, we have only identified three who have made it to that grand finale. I have one more semi-final to go and after that we are all set for the grand finale. So don't go anywhere and come back and watch the fourth semi-final. I will see you there.